This question says, calculate the size of the angle marked X. Now, if we look at this figure, we can see we have two angles. We have angle X and we have 105 degrees. And if we look at this, we can see this right here forms a straight angle. And because this forms a straight angle, we know it's going to add up to 180 degrees. Therefore, these two angles, when we add them up, are going to give us 180 degrees. Therefore, you can also say these two angles are going to be supplementary angles. So we know angle X plus 105 degrees is going to give us 180 degrees. Now we have to make angle X the subject in this equation. In order to do that, we're now going to have to move 105 degrees over to the next side. Therefore, we can write this as X equals, we have 180 degrees. And because it is a plus, when we move it over to the next side, it's now going to become a minus. So we have minus 105 degrees. Now we can set this problem up to look like this. We can say 180 degrees minus 105 degrees. 0 minus 5 we know can't go, so we're going to have to borrow. Therefore, 8 is now going to become 7 and 0 is going to become 10. 10 minus 5 is going to give us 5. 7 minus 0 is going to give us 7. And we know 1 minus 1 is going to give us 0. But we don't have to write this 0. And don't forget, we're dealing with angles, therefore we must write the angle symbol. Now when we look back up, we know x, therefore, is going to equal 75 degrees. So this is going to be our answer for this problem. Now in the answer space provided, we're just going to write 75 degrees. This was the long way to solve this problem. If you can look at this problem and identify that it is a straight angle, and we know we have two angles, which means they are supplementary angles. We know straight angles and supplementary angles both add up to 180 degrees. All we had to do is jump to this step and say 180 degrees minus the given angle. In this problem, the given angle was 105 degrees. And once you subtracted that, you're going to get 75 degrees. Now, if you need just a little more help with the thought process, this is a way to break it down. Once you have identified this is a straight angle and these two angles are supplementary, which means they add up to 180 degrees, we're just going to write an equation. We have two angles, therefore we said angle X plus 105 degrees, it's going to add up to 180 degrees. The next step was to make X the subject of this equation. In order to do this, we had to move 105 degrees over to the next side. And because we had a plus sign, it now becomes a minus sign. Once you subtract this, you're going to end up with the answer 75 degrees. Therefore, this is the thought process when solving a problem like this.